let us try to classify this tissue. Okay. We'll start with the contribution of Mr. Sack. Mr. Sack's full name is Julius Von Sack. He is actually a scientist who has contributed a lot in the field of anatomy as well as in physiology. We hear about him a lot. Okay. Mr. Julius Von Sack has classified tissues into three groups. One is dermal tissue. which is also known as epidermal tissue. Dermal tissue which is also known as epidermal tissue. Number two, we have ground tissue. And number three is vascular tissue. So we have three different categories, dermal tissue, which is also known as epidermal tissue. Then we have ground tissue, then we have vascular tissue. So Mr. Sack is the one who classified tissues into three groups. Let us explore each category in this and understand what exactly is importance of this. So to start with, we'll take dermal tissue, which is also known as epidermal tissue. So epi dermal tissue now with respect to this if you analyze the term if we try to understand the term there are two words in this epi means above derm means skin the outermost skin or the skin which is on top is known as epidermis in the plant so epidermal tissues contains outermost skin so it is outermost layer now what other things do we need to understand with respect to epidermal tissue see one is that it is outermost tissue there are different types under this okay if we try to analyze outermost tissue of plant under microscope we find that outermost layer is known as epidermis okay epidermis epi above derm means skin epidermal epidermis is almost sounding same it is nothing but the same tissue but apart from epidermis outermost skin being present onto it we also have minute pores being present on so called epidermis those pores are called as stromata so, outermost layer called as epidermal tissue has got epidermis onto which there are minute holes or pores called as stromata. Okay? So, epidermis is there. Then we have stromata. What is the function of epidermis? The so-called epidermis, since it is outermost wall layer, it provides protection. Okay. And what is function of stromata? Minute pores which are present on the so-called outer surface is known as stromata. They help in removal of water. See, plant will absorb water from the ground, from the earth. This water is being sent from root to shoot. Once water reaches the shoot, from leaves this water gets evaporated. This water droplets which are there in atmosphere are the ones who will generate humidity. So what exactly is humidity? It is moisture present in the atmosphere. This moisture which is present in the atmosphere will make air humid. You talk about Tamil Nadu regions. Obviously Chennai is more humid. You see more moist droplets in the atmosphere. You go to Hasur, you have dry air. Okay? You go to Uti, you have very much cool air. But everywhere moisture is there in the air. There is water droplets present in the air. These water droplets are mainly being added by stromata. So the minute pores help in evaporation of water that is known as transpiration. So what is transpiration? Removal of water 
फ्रॉम एरियल पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट मेनली स्ट्रोमैटा ठीक है तो स्ट्रोमैटा हेल्प्स इन रिमूवल ऑफ वाटर नाउ मूविंग अहेड फर्दर देर आर ऑल्सो एक्स्ट्रा आउटग्रोथ बीन सीन ऑन एपिडर्मल लेयर तो वी कॉल इट एज आफ्टर एपिडर्मिस स्ट्रोमैटा वी हैव एपिडर्मल ग्रोथ what exactly are epidermal growths see here what we observe is there are minute hair like structures on this stem especially lo lower plants if you see there are white color hairs on this stem we call that as stem hairs also known as trichomes trichomes also known as hairs on stem or we also call it as epidermal hairs okay one is this secondly if you go to the root even on root we have hair like structure that hair like structure on the root is known as root hair the so root hair is hair like structure present in the root trichomes or epidermal hairs are the hair like structure present on the stem what is function of this root hair it is helping in absorption of water and minerals water which is present in the earth will be absorbed by the root but it is not complete root which is absorbing water but it is only root hair region so wherever there are minute hair on the root it is that part which is helping in absorption of water as well as minerals so that is about epidermal tissue